Welcome to this update. I'm Kim Hicks Dye. I'm joined by Todd Elliott, who's with our own local management board. Welcome to this update. Thank you, Kim. It's good to be here. Always good to see you. Oh, good. Todd, we're going to talk about an event. Actually, this is a series um, that if you're an educator or a community activist and you work with young people, really, really important information. So tell us all about it. Let's just get started right away. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. So we have an opportunity through state funding for Racial Equity Institute, an actual series of conversations about race and the importance of really understanding why our disconnected opportunity youth why these particular young people are in the situation that they're in and how we can support and create programs and opportunities for housing, um, dealing with them, the young people that are in detention, with the justice system, getting them back to work, and really helping the state as well as the rest of the country get to the bottom line of why there are literally 5.6 million young people who are disconnected from work or having dropped out of school. Now, the first one will take place on April 17th. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And tell us all about it. The first one will take place on April 17th. Mm -hmm. uh, the Racial Equity Institute out of Greensboro has been contracted to do our series of service. Um, and this particular piece is called the Groundwater Presentation. The research says that there is an enormous amount of affiliation between race and opportunity. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean that that's a bad thing or that's something that, you know, as you would say, someone may pull the race card and say, well, others have it this way or, and they pull their boots up. And, but there's an opportunity for providers, community activists, as you said, uh, department heads and government to really understand how they think about race and how race might actually be structural in nature and how it's a part of the actual makeup of some of the systems that affect these young people that are essentially disconnected. We just want to get these young people the support they need, the help they need, and honestly the love that they need to keep them going and become productive and getting them a chance at life and to start families and to really experience the joy that, that, that our jurisdictions that this particular county has to offer. We're going to see you after April 17th. Todd Elliott with the Local Management Board. And for the folks out there, thank you so much for watching this update.